good morning adventurers. Today we are about to go and check something off my bucket list. But first I had to come to Walmart. I needed a couple small things. I don't plan on being around a Walmart for a while. So here we are. It's 5.30 in the morning. Can't tell from this though. It's so bright outside. In preparation of our epic adventure that we're about to go on, I must wrap my ankle because this morning I decided that it was a good idea to not step soundly onto my foot. So I have a lot working against me on this already difficult day. <sighs> what a way to start the day, right? We're alive! things are starting to happen already I found a great parking spot and then whenever I went to go pay to park it says I can't park here until 8 and it's not 8 yet so I was looking at all the other cars and none of them have permits so I don't know why they're parked here <sighs> I'm gonna have to go to a different place and find parking this is not going well so far Stop one. This is where we came from. This is where we're going. Mm. The altitude is what's gonna kill me. I can do stairs, but altitude. I've got the stopwatch on. We're gonna find out how long this takes. So, back to music. is the hardest thing I've probably done. I'm not good at altitude and stairs I'm fine with, but stairs and altitude hurt really bad. See, that's where we came from. But way up there is where we're going. Water break. Okay, water break's over. KT tape's fixed. Let's go. Okay, so I might have grossly overestimated my goals, really. This morning, whenever I woke up and turned my ankle, I had no idea what I was getting into. And uh, I stopped to rest while I go and adjust my tape, and somebody apparently told me I was their hero for completing this with a messed up ankle because it's that hard. So, I think I'm halfway. This could take much longer than I anticipated. My ankle is literally shaking right now. I can only imagine it's going to be nice and swollen. Oh, but look, so far, all that. The scary part's ahead.
hate it so much. So this is the false summit, and then there's another one. The air is so thin. Yeah, that's where we come from. Right over a hundred stories. This is taking so much longer than shut up. Okay guys, this set right here is the last set of steps in the false summit. I'm starting to feel more accomplished. I'm also starting to feel more tired. I can't wait to eat because I'm gonna replenish my body because it's feeling like it's lagging right now bad. So bad. before we have to go down. It took me way too long, but we prevailed. Never give up. I'm gonna take some selfies, and then I'm gonna take the trail down, because it's safer. don't know me. I have no energy for a run. Down the bar trail we go. Back to the shuttle. To the car. And I feel so much more accomplished now. But my ankle still hurts. <laughs> so now we're on to something more normal for us. Hiking! We just went up 147 flights. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? down. Well, if you're like me, you will. Some of these people are running down. <sighs> I wish. <sighs> so from what I was told, going down this way takes about an hour to an hour and a half. So I'm still gonna make it down this trail faster than I would've made it up the incline. Yeah, and I'm not dying at all. This is actually quite pleasant. Loving it, it's beautiful today.
wanted to discuss a few things. Anyone who does the step mill, the Stairmaster, whatever you want to call it, and you think you're doing something in your 15 to 20 minutes of continuous workout? No! Come out of here. Yeah, totally different world. Insanely different world. I never want to hear a trainer tell me again that that is the best way to get fit because coming here is the best way to get fit. <sighs> yeah, train like the Olympians, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No, <laughs> it wasn't fun. <laughs> but I feel so proud and so accomplished right now and nobody will ever take that away from me. So, you can do anything when you put your mind to it and even if you have to do it at a very slow pace, don't give up. <sighs> With that being said, let's finish this trail. So on the bar trail, I made it back to the halfway point. I remember being here. I remember being those people. It was miserable. It feels like a lifetime ago. But I was really happy to be these people as opposed to these people. Yeah. Anyway, so the bar trail leads from the halfway point out or from the top out, so if you decide that this is not for you at the 1900 mark, you could totally like flake, which I almost did, but I'm really proud I didn't. So we're back on the bar trail, and down we go. See, I'm smiling. I was not smiling going up, like at all. Not even in the first five minutes. That's pretty bad. So I have a negative. I forgot my sunscreen. I thought I put it in my bag. Oh no! I guess this is gonna give me a really good reason to get out my relief gel whenever I get back to camp. <sighs> yep, I'm gonna need it. We were finished with stairs. What are these? At least they're going down. My little toes are feeling crowded. That's always the bad thing about going downhill. No matter what you're doing, what shoes you're wearing, it always pushes. Lucky for me, I remembered to clip my nails. Look, it's the city again. Thank goodness. I have a lot of hope now. And this sign right here says, we just hiked down four miles from the top. That is insane. I'm gonna have to check my step counter after this. Yeah, but I see cars. We're almost to our car. Well, to the shuttle to take us to our car. And there's a sense of relief. And a breeze. survived that was the most grueling day like ever my thighs are burning my ankle is pounding and my lungs have finally come back so now I'm gonna go hop on the shuttle and see if I can't find a shower 
because I feel nasty. <sighs> I think that you should always challenge yourself, even if sometimes that means doing something really insane, like today. Look at how nasty my shoes are now. Ooh. These were great for hiking in though. There's that ankle. Woo! Sometimes after the hardest test, you are instantly rewarded by the beauties of nature that remind you that it was all worth it. Mmm. That smell is heaven right now. Sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's worth so, it. This is the water bottle that I went up the incline with. It's my Parkland water bottle. And I thought because I made it up, I needed to put a sticker on it to make this my official incline water bottle because I am so proud of myself for making it. So here it is guys, it's official. I am so proud that I made it up the mountain. That's pretty awesome, yay!